know what's really happening, man. It's K.A. I'm back in this thing. K. Show got these shit real cut up. Return on the tongue. I just had to get through that shit real quick, man. R.I.P. King Vaughn, man. R.I.P. Bro. Bro, I know I do, you know, go to mom, you know, subscribe, all that. Yeah. We ain't here for that today. Just listen, you know what I'm saying? Man, R.I.P. King Vaughn, bro. That shit in my heart. Bro died November 6th, you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy what happened, bro. RP. Like, bro just dropped an album a week ago. Welcome to O Block. And he passed away, and it's just a man. I know I ain't super jovial, jovial, you know what I'm saying? But, like, nah. That shit crazy, now. Hey. If he wasn't here when I made that video, I made a video about FBG Duck. Way more trash. Them before than this, but yeah, I made that video. You know what I'm saying, bro? Chicago, man, a lot of y'all talented ass motherfuckers, bro. Y'all gotta get out and do that thing. Vaughn was coming up, Vaughn was literally up next. This shit happened, man. It's crazy, it's just fucking crazy. Like, what can you even say, bro? What can you even say? Anyways, so what happened was, bro was at, I think, OPM nightclub. I don't know. Motherfuckers scenes a hookah lounge. Other motherfuckers scenes a nightclub. I ain't even know what the hell happened. But he was over there. He was performing or whatever. That had a little host. I don't really know. So what happened now? Dude, Ben had issues with, um, what? Well, I don't even know, bro. Like, him and Pondo Rondo's team been going off now. This is the popular story. And I've been hearing this story. Basically, he been going back and forth with NBA Youngboy. Uh, NBA Youngboy got a song coming with Asian Doll who's King Bond's, like, girl. Like, they broke up now, but there's been this girl for a minute. And then, I guess, King Von went out of his way to do a song with uh, Jania, the more known of NBA Youngboy's baby mamas. You know what I'm saying? They did a song. So after some words were exchanged, and then he was like, Oh, bro, I got some stuff on my phone that I might not even want you to claim your kids. Da 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 da. That's something along the lines that King Von said. And we all know NBA young boy, if you ain't familiar with him, 38 baby, <laughs> number one. Number two, he ain't play about his. His family, he ain't play. So that was the thing. So these two people going off, they had no prior beef to my knowledge. I know Quando Rondo had some issue with Lil Reese. But, like, again, even though OTF 300, like, they all kind of cool with each other, I don't think it would extend to King of Vaughn like that. But, hey, they had a little ish. So, as you've seen the video, I ain't gonna put the video on. The video of the shooting in this video, because YouTube. Anyways, you can go find this on YouTube, it's on social media, go look for it. Anyway, you can see King Vaughn was beating up a dude really bad. He was beating up a dude. And then somebody in the background, like at the left side, you could take it in the video. He pulls out a little something, he stopped busting. And then King Von dropped. You could tell King Von dropped and stopped busting. So basically, that's what happened. It comes out in the reports too that that uh, King Von was the only one targeted by those shots. You know what I'm saying? Now, what had happened was, again, the dude that shot him, that's quite from Kondorano's entourage called Little Tim. No. Now, allegedly, there's the young boy thing. I don't know if that is what led to this scuffle, but whatever. Because they was fighting that first, and then bro put it up. Shot at him. Also, Vaughn fell. You see him. There's another dude over there. And he got him. You know, death grip, whatever the hell. So they were there doing their little ish. And then, what happened? Yeah, so then, what happened? They busting shot, they busting shots on. Apparently, after that happened, um, people in the back was doing the thing. Now, you see, like, two motherfuckers standing in the back. They ain't doing shit. They just watching the situation play out. So, I guess one of his partners called Looney and somebody slutty from 63rd or something like that. I hope I'm... Sorry, slutty from 64th. Yo, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I disrespect to you. But Louie and Slutty was just doing their thing. And then, I guess the police heard the shots fired. They pull up. They see Slutty and Thing. They see they trying to bust shots at the other people. And they shoot at them. And they pass away. And then, I guess, little Tim... I shot in the leg or something, and then somebody else got shot. So then, King Von was good. We see um one of the homeboys, I forgot the homeboy name, try to go help old Von. He just like, I ain't care. He got to a point. The other side said, oh, you trying to help him? We couldn't bust. He didn't care. He's trying to help Von, and he got him to the car. 
Vaughn tried to stand on by himself, it wasn't working. Because Vaughn didn't see the motherfucker because he got shot from the back. He wasn't paying attention. You know what I'm saying? So that happened. They pick up Vaughn, they put him in the car, they take it to the hospital. They say he in critical condition. I guess the other two people from Rondo's side, they was stable, I guess, and then this will happen. You know, he succumbed to his injuries in the hospital. Now we seen Vaughn manager. Chop Squad DJ, bro, he was in tears, just crying, and it's just sad and unfortunate. I, bro, I said, Chicago got the most like, talented artists. Like, bro, they started a movement. We be rocking with New York Drill. Who is the innovators in the first MFs to make drill? It's them. So every time I look at it, bro, even the UK people like, yo, we seen Chicago they was doing their drill scene, and we just call it Ish Grime. It's a UK drill, so it's like, you gotta respect them for what it is, and Vaughn. Just doing this thing is crazy. Like Lil Durk found out about the ish on live. He was on live and he found out about the ish. That Von, that Von got shot and he passed away. How crazy that is. And this is the thing though. Ever since Dirk been coming up from 2013, 2012, 2013 to like 2016, bro, Von been locked. He wasn't there. He couldn't even be out there with him. So now he got out. He tried rapping. Crazy story. Really blew up and he tried rapping and it stuck. And he's gonna be a superstar artist happening for him. Album go crazy. The album go crazy. I heard one song off of it listening to it randomly on Spotify. I'm like, man, I'm buying this shit. This shit hot. Bro passed away like two days later. It's just crazy. Not two days later after he, he did the album. Two days later after him and the academics had a little conversation. You know, he passed away. And I think he was also on everyday struggle also. But that is just crazy, bro. Now everybody pointing fingers at Quando Rondo. I don't know if the NBA young boy situation is really what happened to lead to this but that's what happened the police killed louis and slutty so that was also a thing he's in tears asian i don't want to live no more because this happened everybody's just mourning we didn't expect this bro like 2020 just been a trip like bro whoever come across this video or like if you subscribe or whatever bro just let my ass know bro that i gotta do an end of the year video because 2020 just been trash i kid you not I don't know, bro. Like, if this 2020, why do I want to go into other years, bro? It's just sad. Like, you see Asian art breaking now. She ain't even want to live, bro. That's just crazy, bro. Just crazy. Then we got people at 6 now who, like, just in there laughing, antagonizing Dirk that another one of his friends have died. This is the thing about Lil Dirk, though. We seen it with Nooski passing away. We seen it with... Um, his uh, manager Chino pacing away. We see with Vaughn. It's just like death follows him around everywhere with the three I just named LA Rondo getting life in prison other of his friends passing away Like it's just a lot and then when y'all be looking at some of these hood niggas like y'all know to issue It's like bro, that's our partner with Kelp. Like if you ain't we don't give a F, you know what I'm saying? It is like bro all this shit that been taking like He's going on, going on. How you get a Drake song and you happy as hell? You like a superstar with your partner gone. And you expect this person to be just super happy, go lucky. It's just, ain't gonna be that way. You what it is. So, bro. With that, it's just crazy, bro. Honestly, just crazy, bro. Father of three. I think he got three kids. Bro, it's just honestly just crazy. 26 years old. Just crazy. And it would have been up next, bro. If I could put you on to any song, I'll say crazy story. You just want to understand. You know what I'm saying? But go listen to Welcome to Old Black the album. Just crazy. Like, I just don't want to understand this beef. We got like 600 Breezy being mad. Like, Yo, we're going to pull up to Baton Rouge. Da, 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 da. We got issues with everybody, right? And then we got Meech, baby. You know what I'm saying? Who's on there like, man, tell them pull up. Da, 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 da. Because the NBAs, you know, they rock with each other. So pulling up. And it's just crazy, bro. It's just honestly crazy. Like, and this is the thing. We could say, yo, stop the violence, da da da. But, like, yo, in all honesty, if they kill somebody very important to you, your, your dead homie, your whatever, your big homie, they kill. Bro, you ain't gonna be like, yo, stop the You probably gonna wanna get revenge. It's a human life thing to wanna go get revenge. Especially, like, bro, listen. Being impoverished and being, like, a black person. Bro, we ain't here out with the police like that. It's like, oh, we gonna figure it out. Nah, bro, like, if we could take it to our own hands. We seen with the Nipsey situation. Like, the streets found where his mama stayed. They shot up her house. Shot up her brother house. I think they stabbed. They shot his brother. The dude that killed Nipsey. So, like, bro, like. 
certain ish bro motherfuckers ain't gonna take they ain't gonna take it it what it is this is one thing though but right, obey 6ix9ine I'm sorry 6 ix just classless bro the fact you just gonna laugh and just use this as ammo to beef with Dirk and this is the thing with 6 9 and Trippy Red it makes more sense I'm not saying he should laugh the bad ish that happens to Trippy Red, but at least like we've seen them have issues. They know actually each other, and it's real beef. It's just they both are in music, but it's real beef. They met through music. Trippy Red didn't like how he moved. Da 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 da. So it goes more than music, but at least it's real. You never met Dirk in your life. It's not genuine beef. It's just off some hip hop ish. This is beef, and you're really sitting there like yo, no no die. Like I thought I was tasting someone like. It was like a mural where he did it with the old black like RP Noodle. I thought that was tasteless and that was stupid. But he's doing doing it for comments, likes, and like publicity. But then it's just dumb. And then this is why sometimes I feel like academics get like some of the hate because it's like when you show like oh six nine's doing this, it's like bro, why are you posting this? For what? Don't post him doing dumb ish like this. You know what I'm saying? But then again. We can't like just put all our anger on him and six nine. So when people in the comments like, bro, your time coming soon. I hope they kill your ass and say, I don't feel sorry. For you. I don't care. Oh well, like, bro, you can't do ish just because he was talking ish about you, and then do this and expect me to be. A, yeah, he was talking shit, nah, bro. He never said f the dead people, blah 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 blah. He just calling you a snitch because that's his principles not to do that ish. But then you just taking it a step too far, like. I can't, bro. Like, I don't wish bad upon people, but your ass, like, something need to happen to you for you to smile. No, I don't know what it's gonna be. If it's drastic, it's drastic. I don't really care. It's one thing, though. I mean, Boosie always like to say, you know, rappers move out your city, you know what I'm saying? Your city ain't got love for you, they're gonna kill you. But, you know, true, Nip was in LA, X was in Miami, but, like, see, Vaughn, Atlanta, he, he a Chicago dude, Atlanta, yeah, hey, Pop Smoke got in LA. That shit needed to be deaded. Bro, yeah, your city, yeah, got a lot of hate. You're more accessible because you feel relaxed because you grew up there or whatever. But it, you could get caught anywhere. Anywhere. All those times NBA was in LA or whatever, motherfuckers try to beef with them. They, they shot on the road at each other. Bro, like, enough with that. Like, you just going down your city, just move. You could catch it anywhere. That shit dead. I ain't saying don't move out your city, but. That shit dead, bro. Bro, it's just sad at this point. Bro. I didn't even know what to say. Bro, Vaughn was... Like, if you love the 2012, 2013, 2014 drill scene. Bro, that was Vaughn told, told like he was bringing that ish back. You know what I'm saying? And that was my thing with Dirk's recent album. I very much loved it. Because this is the thing about Dirk. And I know this about Vaughn, but... Dirk was trying so much new ish, so he could get more fans, which was good. But like me being a core nigga that was rocking with him from Chicago times, it's like he would do the new albums, and it's like, bro, you just gotta give me a couple of them drill ish. That's why I loved when him and Vaughn was together, and he brought out the demon. And then on that latest album, I was like, oh, what? where's this been at? Where this been at, bro? This shit crazy, man. Sorry for the background noise, by the way. Doing hey, make time, make time. But anyways, let's be doing my ish, bro. Our our Vaughn, bro. Fantastic storyteller. Everybody morning is deaf. Fucking LeBron James showed him love. Like it what it is, bro. It what it is. I just wish wherever he is, he see the love motherfuckers there for him. And it's crazy. Like of course, like the ops from Chicago, they like yeah, blase, blase, blase. They going on live and they happy. But like at least with them it's like real beef. But like a man like six nine just like bro, this some rap ish. Like what you talking, boy? Like, I can't tell so many man. Like yeah, like I'm not condoning it, but at least I know these people had true issues for that. And like I swear Vaughn has done that in the past when somebody has passed away. He soft up on live and it is a ish. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the same, but bro, we ain't all saints, bro. We ain't all perfect, so I ain't here, bro. But R.I.P. Bro. Talented, so much potential, bro. So much fucking potential. It what it is, bro. See, you never know where you gonna go, bro. Like, bro dropped an album a week ago. I seen him do an interview like two days ago. The man passed on Friday. Made no effing sense. But bro, stay safe out here, bro. 
Never know when you and they gonna come. You just gotta move what it is. And if hey, bro, that is for Kwan doing them. I think they got the, the information. I repeat of the two people that died. I'm saying, Logan Slutty. I hope I'm saying your names correctly. If I'm not, I apologize, but. This is crazy, man. 2020 just been trash. So many rappers passed this year. So I think on the Wednesday, too, like a female rapper artist slash artist passed away, too. Like, crazy, 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 crazy. Yeah, but the video, though, like, I ain't even gonna give you the, you know what I'm saying? Rock with the channel, like, bro, if you like what I'm saying, like what I'm saying. I cover ish like this. Or well, not hip hop news, like, you know what I'm saying? So, look. I ain't giving you the whole spiel after that. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, but like, I ain't like covering death and all, but like, with these Chicago people, like, I'll show up. It is what it is. Bro, it is what it is, B. At the end of the day, I just show up because, like, this is listening to these dudes in high school. It's like, God, yeah, there's a certain type of, like, bond. Yeah, bond. That's all I got, bro. I'll be King Von. That's it. That's it. Aye.